All right. Howdy, boys. How you doing? How you doing? Hopefully you're doing fantastic on uh, this this good day here. Now, um, I already uploaded the video and I've gotten some feedback. People definitely want to see how I'm doing what I'm doing here on OpenBSD. And really, in all honesty, when it comes to bootlegging your own OBS, um, it's essentially not really hard. There's three commands, and I'll, I'm going to walk walk you through them and break them down. Um, they're very simple as soon as you understand. Um, you might be looking at the text here and be like, well, that's, that's, that, those, are, that, those are a couple long commands there. Don't worry. They're, they're not that complex. And essentially, if we go back over here to my main screen, you can see what I'm doing while I'm recording here. You see uh, this right here is FFmpeg, and it's outputting the frames that it's recording, the FPS that it's recording at. Um, down here, I'm, I'm running this, and it's outputting to a WAV file. So that's recording audio. And then this terminal output here is for the gorgeous little, ter you know, uh, terminal, I almost said terminal, <laughs> webcam down in the corner. Um, and here's the thing, here's the thing, it, and, and, and nothing about what's going on here is complex enough to really justify OBS. Like, if, if we're being honest, the only thing OBS would be uh, better for is uh, making streaming less uh, of a hassle. But here's the thing. I did recently see a video from Luke Smith where he was streaming using FFmpeg. So I know you can actually live stream using FFmpeg. Um, I have no idea where to start on that, but yeah, I know it can be done. So for first things first, when it comes to recording audio, um, the command is very, very simple. AWCAT, which is essentially, you can use AWCAT to play back WAV files. Uh, like if, if we gave it the dash I flag instead of dash O, instead of recording uh, to that file, it would actually play it back. So uh, if I was to give it the dash I flag with an actual, you know, audio file, it'd play it back for me. Um, but here, dash O, and then the file name you want to spit it out to will record from the default audio device in OBS to that WAV file. So the only thing that you might need to change here in this command is also give it the dash F flag and then the name of the audio device that you want to use. Um, on here on OBS, or OBS, good lord, OpenBSD, I'm going to do that so many times, but here on OpenBSD, it's a very simple uh, to understand how the naming scheme for your audio devices work. There's SND slash zero, so abbreviated sound. Buddy is chewing on his bone, and he has got it cornered, and like, and it is so loud, so loud. But, Buddy, please stop. Dude. Okay. Anyway, um, it's it, it's really simple to understand. S and D sound slash zero is the default audio device, and that for if you get a laptop, it's it's going to be your internal sound device. Uh, desktop, it should be again the internal sound device should default to zero, and then any USB devices past that will go up from there. So S and D slash one would be this microphone headset here if I didn't change it. There's a setting that if you go into the FAQ under multimedia, there's something that you can do where it will automatically take your uh, USB device when you plug it in and make it the uh, default. Um, and then when it's unplugged, it switch back, switch back to the in internal one. I've got that set, so I don't have to worry about specifying the device. So, um, but but you might. But again, dash F and then S and space S and D slash one two whatever it is, um, and that will record the audio. And then for recording the screen here, we've got FFmpeg, uh, and we're doing we're giving it the dash F flag. 
and doing X11 grab and then giving it the dash S flag and I want to record my screen which is 1920 by 1080 so uh, 1920 X 1080 and then the dash R flag for the frame rate and that's 30 I want to record at 30 FPS even though it's probably overkill for being honest but still um, the dash I flag and we're feeding it the display uh, which makes sense dash C colon V here and we're setting the preset or not 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 the preset excuse me um, the I'm pretty sure this is the encoder x264 I'm, I'm pretty sure that's it but we're, we're setting it there and then the dash preset um, I've got it set to ultra fast because I just don't I, I don't need super high quality I mean Again, I've had I've had people complain because I went up from 360p to 720. Yeah, I, I I dropped it down to streaming and doing stuff in 360p, and people wanted me to stick to it. But anyway, um, we're giving it the ultra fast preset, and then specifying the file that it should go to. And for me, I do it in videos, and then specify a file name. Um, and then again, we could make this in, I'm, I'm pretty sure you could make a simple script uh, that would actually execute all three of these things um, and manage them for you, but that's not what I'm going through here. I'm, I'm breaking down how I do everything. And so this, this FFmpeg here will record the screen, um, but for the final cream of the crop, the final touch to really make it a proper video, you got to include your webcam, all right? You got to include that beautiful face. Uh, now, Terminal for Life would disagree with me there, and he makes some great videos without recording his face, so it can be done, all right? You can't make quality, top-notch videos without your webcam, but when you're a slacker like me, it helps it, it, it helps to show, show something to distract from the severe lack of knowledge, you know? But anyway, uh, recording the webcam here, we're doing FF Play. Um, now, one thing I will go ahead and say, FF Play and FFmpeg, um, I'm pretty sure FF Play is just default on the system, same as AWCAT, um, but you will have to install FFmpeg. Just do, uh, do as, or if you're using something else, but let's be real, F fucking use do as. It's, it's better. It's just use it. Um, but uh, FFmpeg, it's really simple. Do as, pkg underscore add, which is how you're going to add software here on OpenBSD, and FFmpeg. And then if for some ungodly reason you want to delete it on OpenBSD, it's pkg underscore delete to remove uh, packages. Again, very simple. But then for the recording of the webcam, we're doing ffplay-fvl or v4l2. Don't ask me. I, I have no idea. I didn't look up what that is. I just looked up a default FF, uh, FF play command. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is just copy and pasted from the OpenBSD FAQ, but that's beside the point. Um, dash input format, MJPEG, that's what we want. And uh, the video size, 1280 by 720, because um, I'm pretty sure you like no yeah i'm i'm positive this webcam comes out at 1080 but like let's be real it's going down in the corner it doesn't need to be higher than 720 and then dash i and we're giving it the device to you so slash dev slash video one now you can uh use video zero which is going to be the default on a system, but for me, I, I'm using video one because my internal webcam here for my laptop is much shittier than my Logitech, like decent uh, C922 Pro, whatever webcam. It, it It's much better than the built-in, that's for damn sure. So that's what I'm using. And I essentially just launch up all of the, like I start, I start recording my audio first, then I load up the webcam, put it down, like I move it to a different window and, or excuse me, different workspace and then shrink it on down, put it where I want it and then go back in uh, to my main workspace where I've got all this running and then just execute the FFmpeg command to start recording the screen and go about making the video talking here with you beautiful folks. And then all I've got to do is take the audio file, video file and plop it straight into Caden Live. That's it.
and then I mean really there's there's more to it I got to sync up the audio but it it's it's not hard to sync up audio and let's be real um it doesn't have to be perfect or at least for me uh it just if it's if it's pretty damn close to perfect like perfectly matched up, it's it's fine. Uh, I did watch the video I uploaded, and I know it's a little off, but I, I assume as I get more and more into having to stitch it together, because uh, let's be honest, I'm I'm peak laziness when it comes to OBS. You know, I, I love the fact that it just puts everything together in a nice nice little neat package. But it this is super simple to use. It's super simple to get set up and it also is pretty low on resources compared to OBS um it it just is now there is a work in progress port for OBS for OpenBSD so if this seems a little daunting to you you can try to get the port of OBS to work for you as far as i know it is a very much work in progress and the odds that you're just going to install it and not have any problems whatsoever is pretty low so um this is a more rock solid way of going about it it just takes a tiny bit more effort than something like OBS that's it but I mean, in the end, I mean, I can move my camera around anywhere. I can, I mean, I can take you with me if I wanted to pop you over to, or I'm talking about the webcam here. If I wanted to pop it over to the ninth workspace and then go over there, I could, I mean, it's just, it's nice. It's nice if I want to ditch the webcam and, you know, just show you something that I'm doing on screen. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's, I, I really like it. I really like it. The experience with OBS has been Damn it. Again, I told you I was going to keep doing that. The experience with OpenBSD has been absolutely superb. I love it. It's fantastic. It's, ah, dude, I really like it. Um, the only thing that I, that I will say is if you're a gamer, don't, don't switch to OpenBSD, okay? Uh, luckily for me, I've essentially pretty much stop playing games recently like I've, I've been doing it I've been forcing myself to play more games because I have such an <clears throat> an immense steam library but I mean if we're being real I don't I don't really play that many games anymore and tinkering around with with open BSD learning it I still have a lot more to learn like like let's be real I have a lot to learn okay I don't know I, I have no effing clue how this file system works. Like if, good example, if I load up my terminal here and we go LSBLK, that's not a thing here. You're not, you're not, you're not doing it that way. You're, it's much more different on how you're going to check devices. The um, file, file system, you know, is, uh, as far as I know, it's FFS, um, which is like the fast file system. Uh, or something like that. I, I I don't know. It's it's all this is all new to me. I have so much to learn, so much to like play with and relearn and it's just a very nice system. I really like it. And here's here's the one thing. I respect this operating system a lot. I mean, a lot. For one, it is very capable. Like, I mean, I'm telling you, if you try out OpenBSD on hardware, you will be surprised at how capable and uh, how uh, how hardware compatible it is. It's very surprising. I was very surprised at just how much worked out of the gate here. Um, and it's it's just simple, and it's made for the developers. Like. Th- I love the OpenBSD mindset of shit. Like, look, this is a this is an operating system meant for security, and more like, if we're being honest, it's meant more for server use. But let's let's be real. It's meant for security, and anything else other than that is an extra. And the fact that it's got so much so much extra and so much working is mwah, beautiful beautiful and if you have a problem like let's just say you wanted to bitch and complain at the developers because OBS isn't working like they'll tell you straight up 
fuck, go fuck yourself. I mean, they won't be that rude about it, but I've actually talked with quite a few people uh, who maintain uh, open BSD. Uh, at least I know I talked with uh, somebody who maintained. I'm pretty sure it was their, pretty sure it was their uh, like, pretty sure it was their FAQ. Pretty sure. I'm not sure. Anyway, I've I've talked to people who are on the open BSD team, uh, or at least work with maintaining OpenBSD. And they're all very, very nice. But here's the one thing. They will not listen to you bitch and complain when stuff doesn't work. That's not, it's not a bug with the system. It's just, I, I want, I want this thing added in. They're of the mindset that if you really wanted that thing in bad enough, you'd add it. You'd work on it. You spend your time getting it working. And here's the thing. I really want to be on OpenBSD. So I put in the time to figure out how to record with my webcam and my screen and get audio working because I want to use OpenBSD. And I got everything that, that, that I want working. And it actually wasn't a challenge. It's not like I had to pour it over a piece of software or anything. It, I don't know. I just... Dude, I'm I'm really liking OpenBSD. It's it's nice. It's slick. It's uh, it's real good. It's real good. Okay, I closed my webcam. Yeet. But, all right. I guess that's gonna be it for today. Again, these are the commands here. I will have them down in the description below. Hopefully, this has helped you. Let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know what you think of OpenBSD in the comments below. And Thank you for watching. Thank you to my patrons. Please go over and uh, support me over on Patreon. Link in the description. Join Matt over there. Give him a friend, uh, a friendly patron, uh, pa patron, patron su support network. I have no idea what I'm saying right now. All right, bye, guys. Shit. English is falling apart. Bye, guys. Have a good one.